Hey guys, so this is a video of uh, how to do the, ceil the ceiling with a silica. This is one of the most common process, I would say, for our ceiling. Um, yeah, first mix the epoxy right, get it on the right temperature. You can use a heater. Another tip um, to to mix it slowly in the beginning and fast after one minute so uh, the, the epoxy can connect with the hardener and uh, you will avoid a lot of bubbles when yeah when it's already connected to each other so yeah always tip get the right heat get the right mixture speed and um, yeah so speed it up in the end of the mixing process not in the beginning like on polyester resin so you got the time on epoxy use the time so here we got the yeah the silica powder uh, we always use uh, for a really light uh, sealing 50 uh, 50 mixed by volume not by weight for sure so yeah you add the same amount in volume uh, like you have epoxy in the cup and then mix it well and if you mix the epoxy before also here you don't wanna add, you, you don't will add a lot of bubbles and uh, yeah as always with the mixing speed try to not get uh, make a make a coffee foam <laughs> uh, try to always just mix and not like making foam out of this material so less bubbles better connection more strength and less issues <clears throat> so you first glue in the plugs if you don't set them in on the day before because you can also put them in here so I was setting them the day before after the shaping and yeah I measured the fins right correctly and now I just fill the holes of the plugs and after this you spread the ceiling above the whole bottom first so yeah try to to spread it over the whole board pretty fast that it can sink in everywhere pretty consistent i mean the silica powder avoids uh, the epoxy sink in forever so it makes it a bit thicker and makes the curing a bit faster but anyway you get 15 minutes and after you spread the epoxy above the whole board and you mix it really chilled it starts to stick in the end of the process and then it's perfect we have here another silicone squeegee uh, this one is really really good for rails because this is really bendable we have one squeegee that is a bit more harder as the normal one that everyone is using just a slightly bit harder but it's also way more durable and this one is super soft and it's perfect for the rails because no other squeegee is perfect for rails in the end this one is a silicon one and yeah can be bended a lot after you spread the ceiling above the whole board go above the bottom and squeeze everything off what is left over on the blank same with the rails there should be no epoxy noses no thick parts you just want to fill up all the holes and glue lines or little gaps or whatever you can fill up it's like on eps the normal standard process like on eps you want to fill the 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 outer part of the blank you don't want to have any pressure is going in and out while lamination or any uh, sucking of epoxy while you do the lamination and yeah also reduce all the extra epoxy on plugs and stuff to keep them well connected and light and all that stuff so yeah get over it pretty nice and the next tip is yeah to to set the plugs horizontal perfectly add as much tapes you need that the epoxy doesn't sink out of the, the plug the thin plug yeah one last scratch around you can also heat up 
the, um, the end grain in the nose and the tail to get the epoxy even more sinked in to avoid leash cuts or things or anything it's cool that you can use the wooden grain for that and yeah get the epoxy even deeper in it cool that's it